Despite what internet comment sections would lead you to believe, you cannot argue with the facts. And when it comes to your oil, it's always good to have the facts. As always, I'm Lake Speed Jr. If you're just joining us, I encourage you to watch the other parts of the series. The links are in the description below. Now, to get you up to speed, we're talking about the five things you need to know about oil. As we've talked about before, these are not myths or hand-me-down knowledge. These are facts gathered from the research of hundreds of PhD scientists along with the Society of Tribologists and Lubrication Engineers. When you know the facts, you can make informed decisions. What about your oil in your application? You need to know those facts too. No matter what your application, a two-stroke snowmobile in Canada, a jet boat in New Zealand, a small block Chevy in small town USA, or anywhere in between. Every situation is different and presents its own challenges, but a used oil analysis can give you the data to help navigate these challenges based on fact rather than speculation or opinion. It may sound complicated, but it's ridiculously easy and not very expensive, and it gives you a wealth of information in the process. Most heavy equipment dealers like Caterpillar or John Deere sell used oil analysis kits usually for less than $30. All you have to do is take a small three ounce sample of lubricant directly from the equipment within a few minutes of shutting it down. Fill out a few forms to identify the sample for processing and send it off to the lab. And don't worry, three ounces is not considered hazardous, so you can send it via regular mail. That's it, you're done. In a few days, you'll get the results back and you don't even have to decipher anything. They provide the interpretation of the results for you. It's just that simple and it can make a big difference for you. To really stay on top of things, have your oil analyzed on a periodic basis, say every six months or 4,000 miles. I'm Lake Speed Jr. Next time, we'll be talking about your fuel. And you thought we were just gonna be talking about oil. <laughs>